Welcome to Clear Sky CAN. This video shows how to install the Clear Sky CAN telematics module and antenna on a JLG 1850SJ boom lift. Clear Sky CAN is for use and installation in North America on models with a universal ground module or UGM. Before you begin, remove all hardware from packaging to ensure you have all required components. The Clear Sky CAN kit will include eight 4 inch tie straps, four mount cable tie terminals, one three pin connector plug, one telematics harness, one CAN TCU module, one antenna TCU electrical assembly, one three pin Deutz DT06 35 connector plug, one clear sky decal, and one radio frequency decal. You will also need eye protection, standard mechanical tools, hand drill, 20 millimeter drill bit, T10 torque driver, and a handheld magnet. It is recommended to thoroughly review and understand all instructions before getting started. Be sure to follow all applicable safety precautions while working on, around, or under any machinery. Remember to disconnect the battery and to ensure engine and coolant temperatures are cool before installation of ClearSky CAN. Do not operate the machine until all processes have been completed. If applicable, locate the previous ClearSky module and remove the wiring harness, control unit, and antenna from the machine. Note the ClearSky setting in the JLG analyzer should be turned off during initial installation of the new ClearSky hardware. To get started, open the hood on the tank side to gain access for installing ClearSky CAN. Clean and prepare the mounting area per your specific model with alcohol and primer provided in order to mount the TCU module. Join the connector X1601 from the telematics harness to the TCU module. Connect the X1597 connector of the telematics harness to the X84 connector of the turntable harness. For other machine models, refer to the installation instructions. Ensure the battery terminals are disconnected and the telematics harness is connected to the machine and TCU. Set the ammeter or multimeter to resistance measurement. Then place one lead on pin A and the other lead on pin B of the connector on the telematics harness. If the resistance measurement is approximately 120 ohms, proceed with installing the three pin connector. If the resistance measurement is approximately 60 ohms, proceed with installing the connector into the port. Note, if the resistance measurement is not either approximately 60 or 120 ohms, the CAN bus should be diagnosed for potential problems before continuing with the installation. Once you've installed the appropriate 3-pin connector for your specific machine model, secure all the harness cables with the tie straps and cable ties as required. Drill antenna mounting holes as specified for your model. Drill and deburr a 20 millimeter hole in each tank side hood. Clean, prime, and paint the affected area. Clean the antenna mounting location around the hole with the surface prep kit provided with the antenna. Remove the tape backing from the antenna and insert the antenna wires into the drilled hole. Orient the antenna so that the slot and the threaded post on the antenna faces away from the turntable side sheet and tighten the lock nut. Antenna wires should be routed away from the slot and exposed locking nut threads. Route the antenna wires to the TCU module. Remove the cover from the TCU module using a T10 torque driver and connect the antenna wires to the TCU module. Replace the cover. Note, it is recommended that initialization of the TCU module be performed before the unit is mounted in place. Start the engine and allow it to idle. The TCU module is shipped in a pre-installation state with modems off. To initialize, hold a magnet over the specified area for approximately 5 to 10 seconds until all three LED indicators are lit or flashing. The red LED indicator will flash slowly while magnet is held in the initialization position until the initialization is completed and all indicators are lit. Verify that all three LED indicators stop flashing to ensure proper wireless communication succeeds. 
LED indicators will turn off after approximately 60 seconds from the last magnet activity. To reactivate indicators, wave a magnet across the activation area. If after several minutes the indicators continue to flash, there may be a problem with communications or the signal is unavailable. Shut engine off. Some troubleshooting tips when activating your device. If the yellow LED continues to flash after several minutes, there may not be sufficient cellular signal available or satellite signal for dual mode models, or there may be a configuration error. If the green LED continues to flash after several minutes, there is no GPS connection made. If the machine is indoors, the GPS signal may be limited or unavailable. If the red LED continues to flash, the ignition signal and or battery connection to the TCU module is turned off or disconnected. Stick the 3M VHB tape supplied with the TCU module on the back of the TCU module. Attach the TCU module on the cleaned area. Prepare the identified mounting locations for the decals with the supplied alcohol wipe to ensure the surfaces are clean and free of grease. Install the decals in the identified locations. The radio frequency decal must be installed on the outside of the telehandler cab or near the ground controls on all AWPs. The clear sky decal is optional but recommended. Placement options are shown in the written installation instructions. Visit clearsky.jlg.com to finalize the TCU and machine registration process. The installation of ClearCan Locate is now complete and ready for use. For more information, please consult your manual or contact customer support at 1-877-JLG-LIFT, option 6.